Hey everyone, I want to start this week off by asking you a question. What exactly do this hammer and this 3D printer have in common? Now, if you thought to yourself they have nothing in common, you're a little bit on the wrong side. They're both tools. They're both awesome for helping you express your creativity and make things like this dragon or this clone trooper helmet. And while I do feel it's incredibly important to highlight your creativity, I do find it even more impactful that you can actually use 3D printers to improve your life. So today we're going to be taking a look at five prints to help to improve your storage solutions in your garage, basement, or workshop. Let's dive in. Adam Savage once said about workshops that any flat surface will be used as storage, and in my shop that is also true. And I kind of determined that for our first project on the channel, we should actually do something about organizing this mess. I'm tired of tripping over cords, I'm tired of falling down brooms, I'm tired of using my backpack being hung on a bench vise. Everything that we are using I found on printables, or I actually designed myself. Four of these prints I found, one of them I designed, which is purpose built, and everything was printed in gray atomic PLA on my bamboo P1P. The first print that we have up is actually going to be the Strong Wall Hook by ItGuru on printables.com. So this is what we're going to use to deal with our bright orange extension cord. And it fastens to the wall with just two screws. So, might be a little bit overkill, but I've got these two and a half inch construction screws. And we are going to zip this bad dog into the stud right here. So that way, we have a place for our extension cord. Now, I'm not actually going to measure anything, I'm just going to kind of eyeball. All of these prints work really well to go into just one stud. Eventually I'm going to have to take everything down when I start doing wall coverings, but for the time being I need to get some organization going on out here. Okay, our first print, the Strong Wall Hook by IT Guru on printables is successfully mounted to the wall. It looks super great in that atomic gray PLA. We have our orange extension cord wound up and it's hanging. Okay, next up on our list of shed improvements are these DeWalt battery hangers. So several months ago, I actually printed some hangers for my tools but don't have anywhere for my batteries to go. So I found this model by IR Blinks on printables and the batteries, it should work with the 12 and 20 volt. I only have the 20 volt and I know it works with mine, but I believe that the 12 volt have about the same footprint, so you should be able to hang these as well. As you can see, each of these will print with two screws as well. Okay, so as the same idea with our extension cord hanger, basically we're just looking for an open stud. Now I did make three of these, so we have to have somewhere with enough space. I have an outlet right there, right off camera, where I actually leave my drill charger so that way I can charge my batteries. So I figure it makes the most sense to use this stud right here so we're in close proximity. So let's get these bad dogs hung. Now, one thing of note, there is a wire running through the wall. We put all of the wiring for the shed through the studs. One big advantage to how I'm mounting these right now is I can see where all the wires are, so I'm paying special attention to not hit that wire with a screw or else it's going to become a spicy wire and I don't have time for that today. Now that we have our second holder mounted, we should probably do a test to make sure we have enough space. So, I have a battery, I have a holder, and, like a glove, it actually locks in. So I could have mounted these upside down if I wanted to. This pulls out, boom. Our top one fits just as well. Now, I have seen these types of hangers and mounts for other tools. I went with DeWalt because I obviously have DeWalt tools. Now we do have all three of our battery hangers mounted right beside our charger. So 
after a long day doing projects, I can come in, take my battery out of my drill or impact, hang it right there from this awesome mount that I printed several months ago. Take and put battery in our charger. And then once it is charged, we can move our fully charged batteries over here into our storage solution. So we have charger, battery storage, and tool storage. Everything nice and conveniently located, ready to go. Okay, so we have our extension cord hung. We have our drill batteries hung. Now I need a place that's not my bench vise for my backpack. I am the kind of person, I carry a backpack everywhere I go. And when I come out here, I need, I, well, I need the backpack so that way I can carry my laptop, my camera gear, and then any other miscellany that I have in there. So I actually designed this little half moon backpack hanger that works off of a cleated design. Basically, we just hang this on the wall and then slide the actual like half moon crescent shape over top of it. Now the spot that I have kind of landed on is actually when you first walk in the door, we're going to go right over here on this stud right here. Looks like a great place. All right, we have one screw through our mount and in the impact, and we're going to go about this high so that way the backpack's not close to the ground. Well, I got a little overzealous with the impact while I was mounting the backpack hanger, and she, uh, she's a little bit broke. However, it should still serve the purpose for today while I reprint another piece. Okay, we have our half backpack hanger and our half moon shape. It should just slide over, kind of clicks into place, and is mounted. Let's see if it holds my backpack. Okay, so that is just about perfect for one handle. I actually have this Wandered, is the brand backpack which I bought for photography gear um, and it does hold but I think I'm going to actually take this one back to the drawing board and make that a little bit thicker I didn't didn't take into account the thickness of both of my handles I do have other backpacks that would work pretty well there though okay so for storing the broom we have this here this is the gravity broom holder by Lobo CNC you have this little frame and this little spur gear, pinion gear, I don't know, it's a gear, 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 gear. Basically, you put this gear inside the housing and it drops down into place and the gravity will force the broom to bind up against this side, which is actually a little bit textured. And you can just stick the broom in and it'll hold. Let's get her hung. So I kind of feel like the best place to hang our broom holder is going to be right by the door, kind of where the broom already is. So let's get her hung. So it feels kind of like this stud right here by the door is going to be the best place to hang it. Now I did pre-start one of our screws because the screw holes were a little bit tight and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one just to make sure I don't have any issues tightening it down like I did with the backpack hanger. So, just take your drill and run the screw through. It's that easy, but let's get it hung. I am going to back one of these screws out, so that way I'm not fighting with two screws in the same, same time, basically. All right, figure out right about where we wanna be. All right, so our handy broom holder is installed as well. Not exactly my cleanest work, but it'll do. So basically, this little sprocket here will hold the broom when you put it in place. Now, I'm using a metal broom for the painted handle, so it doesn't exactly sit well. The creator said that you can use a rubber band to increase the friction, 
I have found that electrical tape works really well with these. Um, so when I have a second, I will get this taped up. But for the time being, it serves a purpose. My broom is off of the ground and it's not falling over. Okay, so the fifth and final thing on our list of upgrades for the shed is actually going to be a paper towel holder by Nazar, Nazar 78 on printables. Now, this design is actually a remix from Maniac First from Thingiverse. So right here at my workbench is where I spend most of my time, and it's going to be really nice to have paper towels within close reach. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right in front of this light. This shop light makes sure that I have plenty of light in the entire room. And I've kind of determined that if I put the paper towels right here, I won't have any issue blocking out the light. So what's really cool about this model is it has that super awesome hexagon pattern. You actually have to print four pieces. You have this kind of frame housing, and then there's a like collet that actually slides into the paper towel roll which lets your paper towels flow pretty smoothly on the roll. Optionally, you can also print a blade attachment, is kind of what I'll call it, to be able to make tearing off the paper towels easier. Now, I personally opted to just print the housing without the blade. I didn't really feel like I needed it for my application. Okay, so we have one side of our paper towel holder installed. Now, we need to get the other side installed and make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on our paper towels. So what I'm going to do is we are going to slide the paper towels over the retention ring and then we're going to kind of mock up with the other side and check to see where we like that fit. Now I want this to be snug but not too snug to where the paper towels don't spin freely when I need to pull on them. But I also don't want the paper towels are just flat in the breeze. And then once we're happy with where we're going to be, we just need to take and mark where the outside edge will be. And once that's done, we'll pull the paper towels off and then we are ready to install the second half. Okay, so I'm sorry for not filming a little bit more of the paper towel roll install. That was a little bit tricky to get the right camera angles, but it's done. Check this out. So we've got our paper towel roll installed, and we've got these awesome 3D printed brackets, which allow us to just gently pull, and these rings slip inside the frame, so that way there's not a lot of friction on the paper towel roll. Are you over or under on your paper towel rolls? Let me know in the comments below. There you go. There are five prints that you can do fairly quickly to help improve your basement, workshop, shed, or just anywhere that you want to get organized.